Hello everybody, today I want to talk about review studies. Review study is the counterpart concept of original studies. And review study is the literally review of original studies. So I have an analogy with the review study. It's like a dishes with the fish and veggies and actually based on its ingredients we can divide review study into two categories first one is analytic review and descriptive review so analytic review is the review of analytic studies so this is the review study analyzing the analytic studies like RCT or court studies or case control studies so the ingredients like a fish and veggies they are all analog studies. Those review of those studies make this review analytic review. So we call that analytic review. In the other hand, descriptive review is based on the studies, descriptive studies, based on descriptive studies. So we call that descriptive review. So both of them have a different purposes. So analytic review is aiming for validating the eff effectiveness or efficacy while descriptive review is aiming for the conveying the information so here is, here is the example like a meta-analysis this is another review and this tile can be easily seen in PubMed or any other search engines. Physiological effects of acupuncture. So you can see what kind of physiological effect acupuncture has. So this is quite informational. And the other property of the review study, so these are all review study, and th this is the different category based on how they cooked. So how they search it to review. So you can select the ingredient based on your favor. Maybe to prove your point, prove your statement, you need some evidence, like a formal studies, which can support your statement. So based on your favor, you can select those studies and you can claim or you can insist maybe one of your hypotheses there is the narrative review non-systematic review uh, usually we call that narrative review so author reviews various source based on author's decision if the author think those articles are important author write a review based on those studies so for example future of the acupuncture maybe the future of the acupuncture this is quite something like an opinion and to explain the future of the opinion you can collect a bunch of studies including other opinions or in vitro studies or in vivo studies based on those studies you can state what you think about the future of the acupuncture that is a narrative review. You don't have to be systematic claiming the future of the acupuncture. And systematic review is quite popular type of study in these days. First, let's check the definition. Simply, we can say this way. Source studies are chosen, so ingredients are chosen for this dish for cooking in systematic way. So I can say fair and square way. So you are not excluding something because you don't like or because you do not think that is in, that is not important. But you exclude something or you include something based on very clear standard. So let's see this definition and CDC website. 
So systematic review attempts to collect and analyze all evidence that answers a specific question, research question. The question must be clearly defined and have inclusion and exclusion criteria to examine that hypothesis. So as long as the study, review study has clear research topic and clear exclusion and exclusion criteria, supporting the research topic and to answer the research topic we can call that systematic review but mostly most of the clinicians think in different way so here is a narrow definition and this is the evidence hierarchy hierarchy of the evidence and systematic reviewing is located at the top of this pyramid and this is not systematic review which located at the top of the evidence pyramid and this is the type of the systematic review we usually think when we refer to systematic review this is the definition from Cochrane organization let's see systematic review summarizes the results of the available carefully designed healthcare studies usually controlled trials and provides a high level of evidence on effectiveness of the healthcare intervention. So mostly this study uh, is the study for validating the effect effectiveness of the intervention or validation of diagnostic tools like a certain new type of tomography or new type of the physical examination or the effectiveness of acupuncture or other supplement. So when you want to claim certain intervention is effective on a certain condition, we need first RCTs, the controlled trials. And based on controlled trials, you can write the systematic review. That is usually called systematic review among clinicians. And this systematic review is located at the top of this pyramid. So there is a slight difference between these two, the general definition and narrow definition. And this is the table differentiating systematic review and narrative review. And this is the main difference. Describe and appraise the published articles, but method used to select articles may not be described, clearly notified beforehand. So this is the characteristic of narrative and review. And on the other hand, the system review, the query is well defined. Review question and secondary question and clearly defined the criteria for selection of articles. So that those are the difference. And you can read the rest of the table. And we can clearly see this concept, the classification, the property of the review studies let's try to understand different type of re review studies with the examples so the, here a uh, quadrant this is the first properties of the review study first narrative and systematic and this differentiation this categorization is based on search method this is the random search and this is the systematic search and second property is descriptive or analytic. So this is called descriptive review and this is called analytic review. And descriptive review is based on studies, which is descriptive. So review of the descriptive studies and this is the review of analytic studies. So there are the studies, descriptive and narrative. That is this random search, search by the author's favor, by the author's decision. And sources without comparison. So any sources, not only the RCTs. So this is the top. Uh, this is the study. We, we can call descriptive and narrative. And maybe the same word. So this is very descriptive. So acupuncture is all plausible, and here is why. And he is cooking the dish, which is called acupuncture is all plausible based on researches, studies, formal studies, which he choose 
on his own decision, maybe she, Brian, maybe he. And the result of this study conclusion, practitioners need to do a better job of discerning truth beyond from the information and data available on acupuncture. This conclusion should not be used as, as evidence of something, but it can be his opinion. That is the purpose of the descriptive study and narrative study. And second, there can be narrative, but not systematic, but analytic study. In this case, the resources, the ingredient of the dish, are analytic studies. So let's see this example. So the title, Acupuncture in Pediatrics. So it seems like the, the author tried to clarify the effectiveness of the acupuncture in pediatric problems. So if you see this abstract, you can read the randomized controlled trial and RCTs. Maybe you think this is a systematic review in, the narrow, in narrow definition, but if you read the full text, you can see this articles inside in this review. So ingredient articles, resource articles are not chosen in systematic way. First of all, this article and this review is taken care of in various diseases. Besides the asthma and nausea, there are a bunch of the diseases author is explain, explaining. First, asthma. There are some RCTs and system review. He think those are important. So based on these studies, he is claiming Something like acupuncture is useful and acupuncture can be effective for asthma. In the same manner, he is telling you, telling the readers, acupuncture has some effect with nausea and vomiting. So all the ingredients are RCT and systematic review, but actually these ingredients had not been chosen in systematic way. So you can say this is analog review but not systematic review so this is a narrative and analytic review can you see that and third descriptive and systematic descriptive and systematic so this is a systematic search but sources ingredients are not rcts so let's see the example acupuncture related cardiac complication a systematic review the title clearly saying it is a systematic review but if you see this method, if you read it, there's no typical system re review style method, but very simple. They use the mesh term, so it means they search it the uh, pump mat to find the uh, adverse effect of acupuncture. So in this review, choosing RCTs is not the best option so what you want to know and what you want to clarify what you want to tell the readers is not the effectiveness of acupuncture but reported side effect in this case limiting the research ingredient into RCT is a stupid thing that is not wise you need to collect all the possible cases of adverse effect in this case cardiac complication so you need all the ingredients including descriptive studies not all not only RCTs and RCTs are usually not the best resource for clarifying or inform the side effect because RCT is a experimental environment so a side effect in experimental environment can be different from real life so this kind of descriptive study is more useful to clarify the adverse effect of something not even acupuncture but you can see many articles like this in adverse effect studies so this is systematic but descriptive not analytic the resources are not RCTs and this is the last one analytic and systematic and this is the typical systematic review usually clinicians called systematic review and this is at the top of the hierarchical evidence evidence of hierarchy so let's see acupuncture for cancer pain in adults so it 
does not say it is a system review in this title. Uh, this is a topical system review, and this is from Cochrane Library. First, you can read this uh, search method, central, medline, EM base. So those are major search engines. So if you read those search engines, find search engines in that search method, you can easily see this is a systematic review. So usually systematic review include more than three different major search engines to fit the purpose fit the research topic and there are exclusion and inclusion criteria in this case clearly letting the readers know what was the inclusion and exclusion criteria this is the topical system and review let me recap this quickly so there are review study and there can be different type of review study First, you can divide the review study based on its resource. So when the review study is written based on analytic studies, it is called analytic review. And review study is written based on descriptive studies, like a case series or other descriptive studies. You can call that descriptive review. And second, based on search method, there is non-systematic review and there are are system and review and system and review there can be a broad definition as long as the search is systematic you can call it system and review but in usually in evidence-based medicine we call that the system and review only when its ingredients were RCTs and these are the quadrant descriptive and descriptive analytic and narrative and systematic and this is the systematic review usually we call systematic review in EBM but there are many different type of the reviews including other type of systematic review so here is the bottom line there are many review many kind of review studies and you can tell the purpose and the characteristic of the study based on this quadrant something is systematic is more suitable review study clarifying the effectiveness of the certain intervention or the validation of diagnostic tool and there are some studies with the descriptive man written in descriptive manner and those studies are useful for reporting or summarizing side effect adverse effect of a certain intervention and there can be narrative studies including descriptive and analytic and these studies can be very informational Thank you very much for the privilege of your time. I hope you can understand review study better with this clip.